This video is going to look at the functionality available in Vault Professional. Bear in mind that Vault Professional will have all the functionality seen in Collaboration, Workgroup, and Base Vault. The two additional functionality items that we would like to look at in this video are the ECO process and creating items. First of all, what I'd like to do to create an ECO is I'm going to identify that I want to make a change to this claw piece and I basically uh, change the depth of the cutout of the tooth. So I'm going to select a file, right click on it, and say new change order. So we'll bring up a dialog box where I'm able to create uh, the ECO. It's going to automatically give me an appropriate number, the next number in our list. So I'm going to say I'm going to give it the title of Change Profile of Claw. So we're going to change the, the description will be that we're going to change the depth of the tooth profile in the claw piece. If there were certain properties that we were going to be tracking and associated with this, uh, we could do that here. A lot of companies would like to do that with certain functions, uh, who's going to be doing what, or maybe disposition of materials, any number of things along those lines. This default one doesn't have that. The records tab is basically showing me that this drawing is associated with this. I could add or remove other records. If I need to add comments about why we were doing this or uh, when a change might be made or some other thing along those lines, I can make comments like that. I'm going to move to the files tab. So you can see here that I'm getting the drawing here that I could maybe make some changes. Maybe I'd like to add a little markup that I want to maybe change this to maybe an inch and a half. So what I can do is I can select a different call out. I'm going to circle this. And say change to 1.5. Then I can save this, this markup, and I can save it maybe with the that file. I could add a comment to this. I'm going to add a, a comment that uh, I'm just putting in a, a note in there that I'm going to change the 1.26 inch dimension to 1.5 say OK to that. So, so now this DWF will be in the vault and will be attached to this. I can see the routings, who's going to be able to do what. In my scenario, I only really have one administrator and they're going to be the change requester, change administrator, approval, uh, approver, checker, and so on down the line. The status, we can see that it's still in the create stage. It hasn't been submitted yet. So I'm going to save my ECO. I'm going to go up to Actions and tell it to submit it. I'm 
So I could have added a comment there uh, about the submission. I chose not to do so. So now I've saved that, that ECO. Now one thing over here, because I'm using Vault Professional, you'll see I have a change order list. And you see that it shows me here the change order that I have. And I'm basically seeing the same information I saw over there. You can see now that I have a work, my work list telling me that I have this ECO to work on it. I can view it here. It's, it's still in the open stage. It's basically waiting for me to decide and set it on to the next person. It's in the open stage. I can go, go ahead and, and, and submit it. So I'll right click on this, say respond, submit. I can make some sort of comment on there that I'm ready to, to, for it to actually make the change. Now it's in the work stage. This is where a user would check the files out, make those change, and proceed. Let's say I've already gone through that process. So again, just select it, respond, submit. And I can kind of watch this through here. Um, it's now it's in the check stage. I'm the person responsible for checking it. I can take it, look at it, and, and essentially just kind of keep respond. I can accept or reject, or I'm sorry, approve or reject. I'll approve it. Now it's in the review stage. I approve. It's in the approve stage. I can now just set effectivity. I'm going to say effective immediately and say OK. And now our ECO is closed. So that's the, the general workflow of creating an ECO inside a vault. Now let's look at the item functionality in Vault Professional. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a file. We'll go back to that claw that I was working with earlier. Right click, assign item. So you can see here this basically has got is creating an item. It's it's it has a default number of what to call what number to, to get assigned to this. Um, it's and a bunch of different information that it's going to uh, to run through or assign to the item. I'll say next here. It's going to look for duplicate items that perhaps maybe have another file of this name uh, or another item of uh, that that would be ver two, that would be the same item here. So I'll say finish. Now it showed me the results that I actually have this item. I can close that. Now if I go over to the bottom left hand corner of my vault and say item master, you should now see I have item number three um, and it's showing me the information about that. If I wanted to edit this item I could right click on this and say edit. You can see it's already got the drawing associated with it. Um, this is the primary associated file. I can look at the history of the file. I can look at the bill of material if there was uh, any other items, some sort of packing, packaging material that I needed to associate with it. I could do that. The where used would essentially be um, you know, if there was any other items associated with this. The change order, if there was any change orders associated with this file here, or view. You see, I, going to the view tab, I can look at the drawing. I can look in the look at the IPT. 
you can see that there is a plot stamp of work in progress across the file. If I look at this, the general tab shows that it's in a work in progress state. The reason there's a plot stamp across that drawing is that so anybody that prints that out will be able to look and see that it's still in a work in progress. They, it's not safe to produce based off the drawing they're looking at at that time. I'll save and close. And there we go. That's items in Vault Professional.